Good morning, everyone, and a warm welcome to the Leanness Summit Malaysia 2015. How's everybody doing? Dynamic ladies of Asia Women's Circle, organizers of the Lean and Summit Malaysia 2015, distinguished speakers, ladies and gentlemen. It has certainly been an exciting journey what started as a group of women coming together to support the pursuit of each other's ambitions has now evolved into a platform to hopefully inspire and meaningfully extend the reach to society at large. Our informal gatherings gained huge traction and with increased numbers at each event, we realised that there was a gap in the market to address the hot topics for women wanting to succeed. The question remains is, are we maximising these opportunities or are we ourselves leading back? Empowering women starts with this basic axiom that women should make their own choices. And no one, I mean no one, be it your parents, be it your society, your government, your employers, your boyfriend, your husband, should make that choice for you. If I think about it, I'd like to think my own rise in my organisation was achieved by being good at what I do, uh, by being good to the people around me, uh, by drawing on advice and knowledge. Decision has to dictate our emotions. It's very important. And that also relates to the actions that we ourselves want to make. One was trying very hard to be one of the boys. That was really not necessary. And secondly, also do not try to distinguish yourself so much as a woman that you expect the men to treat you differently because you're that. How might we remain culturally sensitive to the diverse communities in the world in our quest for, global, for our global gender equality? We really also have to start addressing the stereotypes and we need to address them as women at home and we need to address them in the workplace and we need to address them in public life. We, we have had an improvement uh, in terms of our female labor participation rate. Uh, you know, for about 2009 and before, it always was hovering around 47%. In the last five years, it's increased now to 2014 to 53.6%. What that means is that just over half of women of working age are in employment. Really, really, how do you mobilise other women from societal level because your involvement in politics as well when it comes to cooperation? You can wait 120 years until your granddaughters get wage equality or you can choose to change it. We can choose to change our reality. That is the power of choice. Women suffer from a tyranny of low expectation driven by our own stereotypes that both men one thing that keeps you going. But you're never going to be as good as if you have someone helping you. If you have someone good, if you have the right partner helping you, you always do better. My husband is the harshest and 
uh, well, my, my biggest critic. And that is what I really appreciate very much about him. It's because he can be so honest with me when something doesn't look good. So for all the women here today, the way forward really is not only in Malaysia, but the challenge for you is the whole world.